shockwaves in Richardson. The mother of Sharon Matthews is behind bars. Both parents now charged in the wake of the little girl's death. Police now believe they left their three-year-old child home alone while the two of them went out to dinner with their biological daughter. News 8's Rebecca Lopez has all the breaking de details for us tonight. Rebecca? Well, Cindy Matthews is here at the Richardson jail, and according to police, she is not talking to them, but they say that they have enough evidence to charge her with child abandonment. Her husband, Wesley Matthews, had already been charged with injury to a child. Now, police say that Cindy Matthews and her husband left their three-year-old adopted daughter, Sharon, alone at their home in Richardson while they went to out to eat on the night of October the 6th. Police say that they obtained phone records, receipts for a rest restaurant in Garland, and talked to a waiter who confirmed the couple was at the restaurant without Sharon. Police say this put the little girl in an imminent danger of death or bodily injury. Wesley Matthews was reportedly uh, told police that he was frustrated that the child because she would not drink her milk. So they left her at the house uh, that night. Uh, alone in the home in the kitchen for about an hour and a half. Uh, he claims when he got back to the house, she was still in the kitchen and alive. Hours later, though, Wesley Matthews reported Sharon was missing. At that time, he claimed that he placed the child in the backyard as a form of punishment. Sharon Matthews' body was found several weeks later in a culvert near her home. Wesley Matthews was arrested in her death. The mother, Cindy, was not arrested at the time, but today she did turn herself in here to the Richardson Police police and charged with child abandonment for leaving her alone, uh, but they are not ruling out that they could possibly file other charges. Some of it still is left to be determined by the investigators. Uh, some of the evidence that we've got submitted, we still need to have that returned to us. So it's not like you're seeing an end to the investigation on this particular case. This does by no means wrap this thing up. It basically says we're at a point where this arrest was appropriate, so we made the arrest. Sydney Matthews will have to go before a magistrate in the morning here in Richardson and eventually will be transported to the Dallas County Jail unless she is able to post a bond of about $250,000. Dollars, but or whether uh, she's on a $250,000 bond and may have to post uh, some of that money. Now, again, while she is charged with a state jail felony, that means that it's punishable for up to a year in jail if, in fact, she is convicted. We'll have more on this story and reaction from the community coming up at 10. Reporting live in Richardson, Rebecca Lopez, Channel 8 News. All right, Rebecca, the shocks just keep on coming. So who is Cindy Matthews? We don't know much about her. She has been quiet about the situation from the very beginning. We know she works as a nurse, though we do not know where. When their initial story about the child being left behind the house as punishment fell apart, his lawyers very quickly announced she would no longer talk to police. Of course, we are committed to following Sharon Matthews' story to the very end. We'll have more tonight at 10 and updates right away on our app.